Steve Domenico in the room podcast with a very special guest. I have Shamil Nikayev, undefeated, now Bellator 1-0 fighter, coming off a huge win. Fight of the year as far as John McCarthy. Man, how you doing? And congratulations on all your success so far in the USA. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm doing good. Uh, just had the surgery a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm doing good. Healing up now. Excellent. Was it something minor, something that was kind of, uh, you know, a little irritating you through training camps and stuff like that? Uh, no, actually, I tore my ACL, PCL in the first round uh, of the fight and uh, got actually a uh, big uh, surgery a couple of days ago. Really? Well, you wouldn't have known it by uh, just your movement in there and uh, how you how you guys did in there getting the fight of the year for Bellator, man. Um, did, you know, that fight... What'd you think of it as far as you? I mean, you, like you said, you had an injury in the first round, but your Bellator debut, man, uh, bring us back. How do you feel about your performance in there your first time? Uh, I think uh, normally I wasn't happy with the performance because I got a little bit tired, but uh, after almost three years of layoff, you know, so much setbacks and got injured in the first round, like a big injury. ACL, PCL, and some ligaments got torn fully. And uh, I think uh, overall, uh, it's a good performance because of the layoff too, you know. Excellent. Well, it wasn't like you were taking on, uh, you know, nobody here. We had Cameron Lachinoff, uh, a, a Bellator veteran, undefeated in the Bellator cage, man, and a really, really great, great fighter as far as uh, dog fights and just a guy who likes to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. How'd you feel about the matchup? I mean, it was your first fight, like you said, coming back after a long layoff. Mm. You know, I never chose my uh, opponents um, from Bragg and Russia. All of the, the, the organization put the fight, fight for me on, and uh, I just uh, agree with the opponent. And I thought I always like this, like that. The matchup was yeah. He's a tough guy. He he gets in for for a fight, and he he's a good fighter overall. You know, you are a true martial artist in there. How do you describe your style in there? Uh, I am a. Uh, I'm trying to do everything like to be on point on everything: striking, wrestling, grappling, cage work. I'll, I don't like to, to to choose one thing and to work all the time on that. Uh, because you don't know what's gonna happen in the cage, you know. You don't know if uh, if one thing gonna work. You have you need everything. You need all those elements, you know, of the fight game. You have to be ready, and I like I like to be ready in, in every aspect. Well, it was your first fight in the USA, your Bellator debut. What was it like fighting no crowd? You're used to a huge crowd. You're used to, you know, the lights, the camera, the action there. Uh, what was it like? Was it, you know, I asked a lot of fighters that. Was it something that you enjoyed or is it you rather have the crowd there? Uh, it, was, it was a little bit weird uh, because, uh, yeah, I'm used to a big crowd and stuff. Uh, but uh, it was a nice experience, actually. But, uh, of course, I like it when, when, uh, when the crowd is there. <laughs> well, uh, you're, uh, you know, you, have a, you just got out of, uh, you know, surgery here. What's uh, the timeline as far as when you can get back in there? Because you do have, you are contracted under Bellator, and I'm sure they're going to be coming looking for you as soon as you're ready to go. What's your timeline? Uh, they say six months, uh, but uh, I'm going to see how, how it gets. I'm, I'm very good in uh, healing and stuff. Uh, we will see how it goes. Like they say six months, but I think we're going to be earlier on the, in the gym. Well, first fight in the USA. Uh, uh, how long have you been in the States and who have you gotten most of your training? Who's your training camp and who are some of the fighters as far as, you know, you've been uh, getting uh, help from as far as uh, getting you acclimated to the USA and to the Bellator cage? Yes, in 2015. 2016, I came for the first time in, to the States, and I met uh, my head coach now, Henry Hooft. And uh, after that, I, I did my camps uh, with him, uh, with fighters like Gilbert Burns, Michael Johnson, Michael Chandler, like all those fighters. And now we have uh, a big GM, Sanford MMA. 
and uh, and uh, and Florida. And yeah, we're preparing here now. Excellent, my man. Well, you know, you're on the shelf, and you know, you mentioned a bunch of them names there. Uh, you know, it must be a, a great thing watching these guys get ready because some of them got some big fights coming. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Gilbert has a title fight. Uh, Michael Chandler is uh, making his uh, UFC debut. Uh, and yeah, is excited. Excellent, man. Well, what is your goal? I mean, you're only, what, 25 years old? How old are you, 25? I'm 25. Yeah. 25. I mean, you're going to be, uh, you know, a nurse in an injury for a little while. But what's your goal for 2021? You came in the end of 2020, uh, and you know, with a bang, you got fight of the year, and you, f you you basically beat a dude there that was, you know, on the rise in the Bellator welterweight division. What's your goals for 2021 once you are healthy and ready to go? My goal is to uh, take the uh, lightweight title. Uh, get as fast as possible to get, uh, you know, I know I'm on a good level uh, because I train with the best here, you know, we prepare each other, we get better every day and uh, I know I can uh, be in the top five. I'm going to drop to, I'm a, I'm a lightweight fighter actually, I got to, uh, up uh, to 170 on this fight. Uh, I'm going to go back to 155 and, uh, you know, Take, take the best out there. <laughs> well, that's a scary thought, my brother. You going down to 155. I mean, the speed you have now and the power that you have there, and you're, you're, just, you're draining them with your nonstop pressure and your all-around game in there. It's impressive. It's beautiful to watch. And my man, I can't wait to, you know, see what's next out of you. Uh, last thing, my friend, uh, you know, shout outs, social media. You're, dude, you're really popular as far as on social media and stuff. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know why you're not, you know, blowing up everywhere as far as like, you know, media coming to track you down because you've been, you've been uh, tearing it up for years as a young, young fella here. Yeah, I have no idea, man. <laughs> I, I, I think I have to do something stupid, you know, to get some attention. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, you, you know what? You're with a bunch of great fighters there. I'm sure, you know, you're going to learn a lot from them as far as, you know, getting yourself out there as far as social media. Last thing, brother, yeah. shout, uh, shout out, you know, thank yous and your social yeah. media for everyone so they can hear it. Yeah, I want to thank all my followers, all my fans, you know. I got the bunch in Chechnya, Bel Europe, Belgium, uh, it has been a hell of a ride, you know, everyone uh, is uh, sure that shooting with me and I'm very happy for with them. I want to thank them all, thank my family, I want to thank my coaches too, I want to thank my Jim Sanford MMA, it's the best out there now. <laughs> thank you, man. All right, I mean, uh, last thing, social media, because we need people all over you, man. Uh, social media, I'm Nikayev on Instagram and... Uh, what do you mean with social media? Actually? Well, no, you know, Facebook and, you know, Instagram. Them are the two yeah, I am Those on, are the uh, two I'm major on ones. I'm on Instagram. Shamil Nikaev on Facebook. Nikaev on Instagram. Follow me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're off, you're off, brother. 2021, you take it off with a bang with the social media. We're going to get you out there, my man. Hey, buddy, pleasure, uh, you know, interviewing you, catching up, and I can't wait to see what's next for you. Uh, get healthy, brother, and we'll catch up and talk about, you know, 2021 and your takeover. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right, my man. You have a good night.